Okay, today we are finally racing the Z. First time on track with an actual timer. I've done two sessions just to kind of get a feel for the car. So far, it seems like it's running really, really well. Quick overview for those of you that might be new. Um, 2.5 inch cold air intakes from Z1, ISR catback exhaust. Uh, I have an oil cooler, 25 row. I have a track alignment um, as well as Z1 front and rear sway bars on their softest setting. So I think that wraps it up. Oh, and I have, I have a tune from Z1 as well. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna go out, have some fun. So far, the car has been doing very, very well. I think the tires are uh, not as aggressive as I need, but it's good for just, you know, getting your feet wet. Let's go. the tires get up to temp before we start pushing it. One thing that I've fallen in love with is the sound. It sounds absolutely gnarly at the limit. Combine that with the rev matching, this thing just is, it sounds really, really good. <laughs> The seat definitely could use some bolstering. Uh, I find that I'm really having to kind of just <laughs> hold on for dear life. And uh, I think my confidence could be improved if I had a racing seat. So maybe, maybe that's one day. But yeah, man, this thing is just an absolute pleasure to drive. I'm, I'm really, really digging this car. So we can probably start pushing it right after this. Finish these S's. Someone knocked some dirt up there. I got to remember that. Brakes, power stop, track day kit. They're okay so far. Start pushing, having some fun. Oh yeah. These Indy 500 tires do communicate pretty well. They make a lot of noise when you're at the limit. Love this section down here, it's downhill. Makes your car feel faster than it actually is. I top out third gear right there. On this back straight, I've been going to fourth, I, I don't really have to. Woo, getting a little, a little swirly on the brakes there. The car definitely likes to move around under braking. I don't know what's exactly causing that. Maybe too aggressive of a rear pad. Not sure. Oh yeah. I just realized my tracks control is in fact on. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and turn that off. All right, it's off. <laughs> Woo! That could explain some things. Oh, there we go. Now I feel it. It's slipping a little bit more. Love cutting this curb here. Oh, yeah. Let me bring it tight. These tires also, I think, are struggling with the amount of brakes that this car has. Uh, ABS is kicking on quite often.
Get this straight. Get that VQ power. This engine sounds absolutely gnarly. Taking it easy on that braking zone there. Oh, yeah. And again, the automatic rev matching. I don't care who you are. It, it benefits you on track. There's no way around it. I was never that consistent with heel and toe. So this just helps me out a little bit. Absolutely rips. All right, we can really have a hot lap now. Woo! Okay. Little tail happy action there. I gotta grow some balls on this on this turn, but a lot of people hit that wall right on that corner exit. Oh, here we go. Oh, bring it around. I do feel like this LSD is not, not amazing, to be honest. But it's okay. Maybe I'll upgrade one day. Yeah, I could really use some better tires, I think. It just adds a little bit more edginess. You're not just constantly battling understeer like my old Civic. All right, we can start cooling it down there. Whew. Not bad, little Z. I, uh, I absolutely adore this car even more than before. I think, uh, I really need a seat. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fall out of this <laughs> this car. I'm gonna fall out the window. But uh, man, other than that, maybe some stickier tires. And uh, yeah, man, that's that's about it. I absolutely, it, <laughs> I'm just loving this car. <laughs> And I know I say that about every single car I drive on track because I just love driving on track. But this car specifically, man, the exhaust note, the, the auto rev match, the way it makes me feel, it's awesome. So as the day progressed, I ran into a couple issues. My oil filter had a small leak with the sandwich plate from Z1. I'm not sure if that's the oil filter or the plate, but we'll see if it gets better next oil change. I also had a pretty rough end to the day. As I was driving along about five laps in, I went to shift and after pushing the clutch down, it would not come back up the whole way. It only came up about halfway. So I limped it back to the pits, not shifting at all, and I let the car cool down. After that, it felt fine. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe the clutch fluid boiled, but let me know your thoughts. All right. Thank you guys for watching. That was a blast. It is super hot, uh, but that was a really, really great time. So if you guys like the car, definitely follow for more content with it. I'm going to be doing a lot of track driving with this. 
and uh, progressing as a driver. You guys can criticize my lines in the comments below. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Tip. Yeah.